नमस्कार मित्रों इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ टू बिल्ड अ पावरफुल आरसी कार बाय यूटिलाइजिंग अ प्लस मोटर एंड क्रिएटिंग अ ट्रांसमीटर एंड रिसीवर टू कंट्रोल इट बट बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड आई वांट टू गिव अ शाउट आउट टू नेक्स्ट पीसीबी फॉर स्पॉन्सरिंग दिस वीडियो टू बिल्ड द ट्रांसमीटर एंड रिसीवर वी विल यूज द ई एस पी प्रोटोकॉल विच हैज अ गुड रेंज एंड कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड बाई एडिंग एक्सटर्नल एंटीनाज वी ओनली नीड टू ई एस पी थर्टी टूज वन विल एक्ट एज ए मास्टर एंड द अदर एज ए स्लेव Since we are using one-way communication, we can also refer to them as transmitter and receiver. Additionally, for the communication to work, the receiver's MAC address must be provided to the transmitter ESP32. Okay, that is enough explanation. So these are the circuit diagram that you can follow to build this project on the breadboard. However, I want to make this project more professional, so I designed PCB for this project. Later, I headed over to the next PCB website to order PCBs. First, I uploaded the GUBA file and selected PCB setting. Then I uploaded the BOM and pick and place file for PCB assembly service and ordered high quality PCB in very affordable price. By the way, Next PCB is the leading manufacturer of printed circuit board offering multi-layer PCB services and high quality PCB assembly services at affordable prices. They also develop a free Gerber viewer and DFM tool which is an advanced PCB analysis software. So if you also want to make your project professional then head over to the link in the description and order the PCBs because next PCB is providing $30 off for PCB order over $100 and free PCB assembly for 5 PCBs. The PCB delivery just arrived and as you can see guys the assembled PCB quality is very impressive. Now let's solder some remaining components. Alright everyone, we can now proceed to upload the code. I have already covered the coding process in one of my previous videos. So just follow the step and remember to replace the code with the code that link is provided in the description. With the coding part done, I have also created a 3D printed enclosure for both the transmitter and receiver. Great, our transmitter and receiver working as expected. So finally, let's build the RC car. So first I opened Fusion 360 and started designing. Three days later. Three days later. 